everybody, welcome back to another fantastic 12 minute walking at home exercise programme. You are just going to love this. It's a really nice way to get fit, walking in your kitchen, in your living room, wherever you are, you don't need much space at all. We're going to be using dumbbells. If you haven't got dumbbells, please use some uh, cans or tins to hold in your hands or even some water bottles. If you don't have that, that's not a problem either. You can just use your fists nice and curled up, nice and tight there. I do recommend that you've got a sturdy side wall to hold on to, especially if you do have the balance issues. Make sure you've got something there and you can do the workout with a really good sweat going on, even by holding on. So relax your body, body up nice and tall, take a deep breath in and breathe out, feeling ready for action with me today. Do make sure that you've checked with your GP that you are safe to embark on this exercise regime before beginning. And if you have enjoyed it by the end, do be sure to hit that like button, subscribe along with the bell, and then you'll be uploaded with the next latest video coming along. So without further ado, let's hit 12 minutes on the clock and let's get going. Three, two, one, off we go. So we're gonna go for a nice easy walk to start off with. So you're holding onto your weights. Now I've got here 1.5 kilograms at the moment and the weight's coming all different sizes and shapes and you need to be using a weight that you feel comfortable that you can happily do 12 minutes of walking with. Throughout the exercise regime, if you're feeling your weights are getting a bit too heavy, just pop them down onto the side and then carry on with me just without using the weights there. Good, so tummy muscles in, bring your body up nice and tall and lift your chest, super stuff. We've got 12 minutes on the clock, so we're just starting with an easy walk for our first minute. Good stuff, nice easy walk, feeling nice and comfortable there. It's good if you've got trainers on, do make sure you are wearing trainers or a sensible workout shoe. And that's also really important just in case you accidentally drop a weight on your foot or anything like that. So we have got a knee raise coming up. So I'm going to lift one knee and place it down onto the floor. Good. Now level one, you're just going to rest your arms to your side or even hold on to the sideboard, keeping the pace nice and comfortable for you. Level two, you're going to start to bring in a bit of a bicep curl. Good. Now level three, you're going to work a little bit harder. You're going to be pushing up the alternating hand to the knee. Good. So you've got a nice good push up. Bring those weights up to the ceiling. That's it, raising that knee up there. Now, the pace will depend on you. So for some people, the pace is gonna be nice like this. And other people, you might be able to bring it up a little bit faster. But you should be able to have a good conversation throughout. If you haven't got much breath, then you need to slow down a little bit. Good, steady breath. That's it. If you're finding it's really easy as well, you need to pick it up a bit. Lunge it back. So we're going to go for an easy lunge back. Good. Level one. Roll the shoulders back and down. That's the way. Hold on to the side if you need to. Level two, we're going to add in a bicep curl. It's like a hammer curl. So the palm is facing in towards you. Level three, we're going to pick it up a little bit more. Good. We're going for a deeper lunge. And a good squeeze on that bicep there, good. Shoulders nice and low. As I'm lunging back, I'm keeping my back heel off the floor. I'm just tapping that toe behind me. Soft supporting front knee there, good. Keep your chin up if you can. That's it, doing really well. It's gonna fly by these 12 minutes. And the amount of goodness that you're gonna be doing for your body in 12 minutes this morning is going to be phenomenal. So you're going to get a good cardiovascular workout, you're going to be strengthening your muscles, working on your postural muscles as well. Good, and march it just here. Tap it out. So we're going to go for an alternating tap out here. Level one, just rest your hands to your side. That's it. Level two, we're going to add in a similar hammer curl coming across the body. Level three, you're just going to make it bigger. Good. A little bit more effort going through. Soft knees as you're coming out. That's the way. Good stuff, guys. Well done. And again, work on the pace that suits you. Good, so if you're happy here at this pace, 
Keep here if you want to pick it up. Go for it. This workout is yours. You own it. Do what's good for you. Super, keep that going. We've got three marches and a kick coming up. Good, let's keep that march going. That's the way. And one, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. Good, keep that going. So as I'm marching and kicking, level one, my hands are just by my side. So I've got a nice bit of balance with the alternating swing. Level two, I'm going to extend and punch out with my kicking opposite leg. Good, off we go. Level three, a little bit higher. Good, a little bit more effort. That's it. Good, walk, 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 kick. Walk, 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 kick. Good, this is level three. I'm going to take it back to level one. Notice the difference. Good, keeping it nice and low. That's it, level two. A little bit more. That's it. Good stuff. Level three, you need to really get it going. Good, now we're going to go for an alternating tap forward. So it's a tap and in. Tap and in. Level one, just let your hands rest to your side or holding onto the sideboard. Good, tapping forward. Level two, you're going to come up for a small front raise. Good. Level three, you're going to make these movements bigger. I'm going to lunge it forward. Tap and back. Good, so I'm bending my front knee, transferring my whole body weight forward. Good, as I'm lunging forward. Notice how my knee stays behind my toe, so it's not going right over the front. So my stance is nice and big. Good, steady breath. You can do this, remember take it back to level two if you need to, and that's just tapping. Good, so you're not placing your whole body weight forward. Or level one. Good, well done guys. Okay, low jack. So we're going to come out for four with your right leg. And two and one. Change. Four, three, two, one. Change. Okay, so level two, what you're going to do here is you're going to add the arms in. Good, so we're going to go for a nice hammer curl again. That's it, and change. Now level three, all you need to do is make these movements bigger. Good, really transfer the body weight over. Soft knees, soft knees are coming over. That's it. Good, keep it going. Steady breath. Now I'm gonna slow it down to level one. So I'm taking it out, 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 and in. And out, 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 and in. Good. Out. Steady breath. Good. Okay, march on the spot. Here we go. We're going to go for a double side tap. So it's one together, two together. One together, two together. I'm going to turn to face you. That's it. This is level one. Do turn to face your sideboard. If that's easier for you, you can hold on. Level two. A low row. Good. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Level three, pick it up a little bit more. That's it. Really get that energy going. Soft supporting knees, you're coming down. Well done guys, you're doing really good. Strengthening between our shoulder blades for our upper body posture. And then we're getting those biceps working as we're pulling in the low row. Strengthening our legs, our core, quads, that's it, keep it going, steady breath. Well done. Doing really well, we've got a step and a tap behind coming up, here we go. So it's a step, tap behind, step, tap behind. Nice and easy, now I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me here. That's it, so level one, shoulders round and down, just stepping and behind. Good, now level two, we're going to add in the arms, so we're going to do a small press up, just to above the head. Level three, and push, and then you're going to stretch and reach, and lean to the side, so you're stretching out your latimus dorsi, 
your obliques on the side, you're really making the side of your body muscles work as well. Good. Coming out of your comfort zone is going to challenge your balance and your muscle structure and help you improve in what you've got there. Good, keep it going. Nice and steady. We're walking it forward for four. Four, three, two, one, and hold. Good, and back. Three, two, one, and hold. This is level one. And four, three, two, one, and hold. Good, and four, three, two, one, and hold. Level two, a bit more. Four, three, two, one, and hold. And back. Four, three, two, one, and hold. Level three, bigger. Four, three, two, one, and high knees. That's it. And four, three, two, one, and high knees. Well done. And four, three, two, one, and high knees. Good stuff. And four, and high knees. Good. Keep that going. Remember to work at the pace that suits you. I'm going to take it back to level one. Three, two, one, and hold. Good, and again, and four. We're going to take it for a single side step. So it's a single, together, single, together. Level one. You're just going to hold it here. You can turn to use the sideboard again for support. Okay, level two, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring the pace up a little bit. We're going to bring the arms up and we're going to punch it forward. Good, and punch. Lovely. <laughs> Level three, we're going to make it even bigger. Good, and we're going to turn. We're going to turn our punches so we're actually working on our core as we're turning. Good. Excellent. Steady breath. Good. Now I'm going to take it back to level two so you can see the difference. That's it. So I'm taking, keeping my arms punching forward for level two. Level one. Hands to the side. Good. Level three. Across the body. That's it. Right. Now we're taking it in to a tap back. Right leg. So it's four, three, two, one. And change. Four, three, two, one. And change. Good. Now level two. Are you ready? I'm going to add the arms in this one. And four, three, two, one. One and change. Good, nice alternating punch out. Good. Now level three. You just need to make it bigger. Here we go. One, two, three, four and change. One, two, three, four and change. Good. Keep that going. Doing really well. We're nearly there. Come on, let's make these last ten seconds really work for us. That's it, you're nearly there guys. And change. You can do it. Woo! Yes! And you've made it for a whole 12 minutes. Well done, put your weights down and keep your feet marching. Yes! Woo! You've made it for a whole 12 minutes. Good workout, so keep marching on the spot. March it out. We're gonna cool it down. Really nice, good cool down here. Let's bring that heart rate down. Stretch our muscles out. Get rid of any lactic acid that's formed. Good, roll the shoulders back and round. Lovely. I do really enjoy doing a walk with weights. I just find it just speeds the time up so quickly and you're working all your muscle groups. It's just really enjoyable. If you enjoyed this one, do let me know in the comments below. Now let's go for an easy heel pump. Just going to bring the toes to the floor, pumping the heels. And again, folks, if you feel unsteady, just hold on to the sideboard. Good, core in strong, tuck the bottom under. Well done. Okay, take your right leg out behind you and place your heel into the floor. Bend your front knee. Fantastic. Relax the shoulders down. We're going to double whammy today. We're going to see if we can stretch out the back at the same time. So holding onto the sideboard, you're going to arch out through the back, round the shoulders forward, let the back arch up to the ceiling. 
Good, and relax, and bring the feet in. Easy walk out, super, absolutely super. Good, now let's keep those feet walking just for a couple of seconds. Every time you do a stretch, your heart rate starts to go down, but we need it to come down gradually, so we're walking and interspersing our cool down cardiovascular sections in between our stretches. So again, let's take our left leg back this time, in for a calf stretch, bend your front knee, back heel flat into the floor, both feet facing forward, hold that stretch. Good, now we're going to aim to do a chest stretch at the same time, so you're going to bring your hands behind you, reach up and imagine that you're pushing up and away. If this feels a bit tricky for you and you're worried about your balance, take a wider step in between both your feet and hold on with one hand, good, and then you might want to swap it onto the other way. Super stuff. Bring the feet in, easy walk. So we're just going to walk it back for four and walk it forward for four, nice and steady. Four, three, two, one, and forward. Good, easy as that. Four, three, two, one, and forward. Let's do that one more time. Four, three, two, one, and forward. Good, hold it here. So we're going to come in for a lovely hamstring stretch. Bend both the knees, push the bottom back. Straighten out your right leg in front. Good, and sit down into this stretch. Hold on to the sideboard if you need to. You should be feeling the stretch down the back of the lengthened leg here. Good, if you feel happy, pop your hands onto your knees, which is your bent knee, and keep your chin up there, steady breath. Well done, and then slowly come back up. Nice, easy walk on the spot. Super, we're gonna turn to face the other way. So I'm looking at my window today, and I usually give you guys um, a heads up of what's happening over the sea. And today we have got lots of white horses, it's a little bit windy, um, but it looks good, it looks exciting. I just love it with the change of, sea, uh, the sea, change of seasons and the sea really starts to pick up with it. It's very exciting. Okay, stop both the feet, bend both the knees, push the bottom back, straighten out the left leg forward this time, hands onto your bent knee, sit into the stretch. Good, and feel that stretch down the back of the thigh. Hold that stretch there, relax and breathe. Nice steady breath. Good, slowly come back up, easy walk, slow it all down, that's it, well done, and holding onto the sideboard. So with your right leg, bring the leg up behind you, holding onto your trousers or onto the ankle. If this is too tricky, just keep the toe onto the floor, lift the heel and tilt the pelvis for a hip flexor stretch. If you want to join me picking up the leg, please feel free to do so. Soft supporting knee, stretch on the front of the thigh, take the hips forward, use the sideboard there if you need it, or lengthen out your arm for a little bit of balance there. Good, feel that stretch into the quadriceps. Super, put the weight down, easy walk. Brilliant, I'm gonna to turn to face the other way. So again, we're gonna stop both the feet, Take your left leg back, lift the heel, and tilt the foot pelvis forward, and feel a stretch into the front of your hip flexor. Otherwise, hold on to your trousers or onto the ankle, soft supporting knee. Use your hand there for a little bit of balance if you need it, or hold on to the side. Good stuff. You can always hold on to the side for a bit of safety, and if you want to test it out, maybe lift a finger or two. Good, steady breath and put the weight down, put your foot down, good. Nice and wide stance with this one, so you need your knees pointing out 10 to two. Now keep your body up nice and strong and straight, and imagine that you've got a golden thread lifting you up. Now sink down into it, let your body just sink, excellent. Knees push away and open out through the thighs. Good, now slowly come back up, and again, let's try that again. Sink down, open out through the knees. Good, and then slowly come back up, good. Now bring your feet in, so they're a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. 
And we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose and breathe out through pursed lips. Ready, breath in. And breath out. Breath in. And breath out. Feel that great oxygen coming in towards your lungs. Breath in. And breath out. And shake it out. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, guys. I'm so proud of you guys at home. You have done a cracking effort today. And I've got some shout outs. So I've got a special shout out here um, for a Margaret Dark in Reading. And it was her birthday a couple of weeks ago. And I have to say a very, very happy birthday for a couple of weeks ago, Margaret. And I'm so pleased you're at home and you're giving it a really good session of workout every Thursday with me. So well done, Margaret. Keep up the good work. And a shout out to Julia and Les who have just come back from holiday. They even recorded some of these videos and took them with them. So well done to you guys. And well done to Pat who's come back from Turkey. She's now in quarantine and she is doing regular daily exercise workouts from the channel. So good work, Pat. Keep up that good work. And a last shout out for Joy, who has had a baby boy, grandchild. So she is grandmummy of number two. So congratulations, you guys. And also I'd like to say thank you so much for everybody who's been on the chat this morning. And I'll do some shout outs this morning on the chat. We have got here with us. Uh, Norma, hello Norma, great to hear from you, thank you. And hello Heather, great to hear from you all the way from Austria. And Joy, good morning Joy, hope you liked your shout out there. Um, recovery up, hello, good morning. And I've got Marie, good morning, so lovely to have you back again. And Eileen, good morning there, great to have you as well. And we have got... Um, Anne and Ray, who are superstars, and you're always there first thing on a Thursday morning. So thank you all. Enjoy your Thursday, and I shall see you all soon. Much love. Ciao, ciao.